Hey there, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Power Select tool. Let's go to Tools, scroll down to Power Select. First thing we do is choose what we want to select, edges, features, loops, faces. I'll work with edges. Now we check some filters and parameters. Let's say Edge Convexity. Uncheck Concave Edges and click Search. Four edges are found. Let's click New Search. The current list will be cleared, that's OK. Now let's select concave edges and search. We find many more edges this time. 140 entities were found. Let's click New Search, discard the current search. Unselect edges, let's select features now. For filter, we'll use feature type. And below we can further refine the search. Let's work with fillets. Let's look for round fillets and click search. SolidWorks finds eight fillets. Let's click Close now. The eight fillets remain selected in the tree and in the graphic area. Press down the Control key and left click on fillets 1 and 2 to unselect them. Now let's right click and suppress the rest of these fillets. Go back to Tools, activate Power Select. For Feature Type, let's unselect round fillets and check Rib. Before we click Search, let's go back to the Select What area, unselect Features, and check Edges this time. Click Search. SolidWorks has found 168 edges. Let's close. And let's bring up the Fillet tool. Radius Value 0.5 mm, tab to register. Uncheck Tangent Propagation. Full Preview is selected so we can see what's going to happen in yellow. Let's click Cancel to close the tool. Now let's go to Tools, Power Select. Under Select What, we'll choose Features. Uncheck Edges. Uncheck Feature Type. And let's select Feature Color. Now we choose a color. Let's check Pick Color from Graphics. We'll click here to select this color. The hole is found. And let's click New Search. The current list will be cleared. OK. Let's uncheck Color. We can also search by Feature Name. Let's type in Fill here, F-I-L-L, -L, and click Search. And SolidWorks finds fillets 1 and 2, displays them in the Results window below. This concludes our video about the Power Select tool.